Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's up, brother? What's up? Dude, I gotta I get your messages at like. You didn't go to bed until late, right? Yeah, it was pretty late. Yeah, yeah it was one of those nights. Yeah? <laughs> no, it was, it was a good night. I mean, it's fine. drill just going through the motions uh, basically kind of like a high crotch um, duck walk sort of thing so look at these fish look at the hang of it it's good class you know it's good drills and then it's good for Memoration technique. The, the cool thing about Brian and I is that you know Brian has the, we, we were both college wrestlers, uh, so we're, we're both experienced in that. This, the things that we bring in is just a lot of experience, you know, and we're able to use our wrestling for MMA. Um, we're also able to use wrestling for wrestling. You know, so whatever guys are wanting to learn, they wanting to use wrestling for MMA, yeah, we can teach it. If they want to just use wrestling for collegiate wrestling, to, to, because they, guys want to do tournaments and stuff like that, just for uh, the wrestling rules, yeah, we can teach that also. So it's uh, and, and also he's got a different style than I do, and but we, we mesh really well, and then we blend in really well. We just pretty diverse, and we got it all. So it's, it's kind of a cool thing. I'm trying to learn how to surf. I'm trying to learn how to play the ukulele. And I will say those are my... Um, I love to go to the beach because all of this island is so beautiful. And this, you know, around the island, it's, it's just... It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I, I'm in love with this place. I was chilling. I was chilling. We're here in uh, beautiful Cotta Beach. Um, we were gonna try to get some, uh, catch some waves, try to surf, but there are no waves today. So we just came to chill and swim a little bit. Then a uh, little MMA sparring at 4 p.m. for our guys and myself, and you know, guys are getting ready for fights and whatnot. Yeah, just chilling. MMA sparring, it's kind of fighting live, but really fighting like at 70 to 80 percent. You're not going to go 100 percent where in a real fight you would fight 100 percent. So this is the, the closest that you can mimic a fight without getting hurt. So we have fully shin pads, we've got the gloves, we've got the cups, you know, the mouth guards. And some guys can wear headgear, obviously, if they want to. But this is the most realistic uh, thing that we can do to mimic the real thing. 
so therefore guys can work on their timing um, their toughness uh, see where they're what they need to work on if they're missing out on wrestling if you know if they need to work on their boxing or their Muay Thai or whatever this class the MMA sparring is where you, where you can get to find out about that and uh, how much more work they need to do you know to, to get ready for their fights I love this class. The MMA class is tough. It's good. Roger, he's an amazing coach. Brian's good. Um, I like I like training with Roger. His uh, wrestling is really good, and that's what I'm really interested in getting my wrestling background uh, better. Um, and you know what? He's just an amazing mentor. Not only physically helping you, but mentally also. But Roger's great around, to have around the class uh, in the sparring. He really uh, pushes you. He's, you know, if you're sparring with him, he'll he'll take it to your level. If you're a beginner, he'll, he'll work with you, and if you're more advanced, he'll push you to you know, use your techniques and, and really push your cardio and push the pace. Um, and then he'll really give you, uh, you know, when he's just watching, he'll give you some advice and, you know, things to work on. And, and in between rounds, he's, you know, they're helpful and, and talks about tips and things you do right and things you do wrong. So um, it's really good to have, have Roger around. My first trip to Tiger was in 2009. Um, I came here for like a month to Thailand. I didn't know anything about really Thailand or or Tiger or anything. And so my management team at the time, uh, they did all the dealings uh, with Tiger and, and my flight and accommodation and whatnot. So to, for me to fly to Thailand to learn Muay Thai. Um, yeah, I, I came here and I fell in love. I fell in love with Thailand, fell in love with just the atmosphere, um, it, it fell in with Phuket, you know, just PP Island, like all, all that, all that stuff, all the, all that really Thailand has to offer, and and I just really enjoyed being out here. So when I went back to the states, I you could not stop thinking about Thailand, and I just wanted to come back to Thailand all the time, and so I, I came back um, again, stayed for like another month, and then I went back, stayed for, came back here, I stayed for another. Like, six months maybe and then eventually what ended up happening I like sold my house I sold everything got rid of everything and then came out here and everything just yeah just let it happen the way it was gonna happen I suppose I you try to force things in life where you have a plan in life to what you want to have or succeed if you want you want to buy a home stuff like this you know and we always have this this plan but nothing ever goes to plan <laughs> nothing ever goes to plan at all and so always something comes along the way and you might want to take that direction and so I think that's what happened to me and I ended up in Phuket, Thailand. <laughs>